I started on watercolor paint this year in May, but I quickly found watercolor or as we call aquarelle pencils. I use both Faber Castell Albrecht Dürer, Derwent Graffitint and Derwent Inktense pencils. The motivation for this experiment video came from a recent video from Gabriela Rita Art, where she painted three landscapes with inktense blocks. She used 300 gram per square meter paper. For this experiment of mine, however, I used my 12 by 12 centimeter sketchbook with only 140 GSM paper. I use almost exclusively a medium size Derwent water brush. I remade Gabriella Rita's first landscape more or less following basically her layers, but my colors were not exactly the same as hers. In every step I noted what color I applied. This is the final result. This is the first layer of the pencil work. I typically use very gentle strokes, since ink tense colors are pretty vibrant. Then the result when I added water with my water brush, activating the ink from the pencil strokes. I typically use a minimal amount of water, but enough to fully activate the pigments in the pencil strokes. This way ink tense layers get dry quickly. Then I painted the blue sky and an apple green layer which partly covered the first red violet layer. The red violet layer got dry enough so quickly that I didn't have to wait or use hair dryer. After I was done with the sky I started the apple green layer. Here is the teal green pencil work on top of the first two layers. Never try to add pencil strokes to wet paper, especially not on 140 GSM paper. It will ruin the paper. Here is the water activated first three layers. Thereafter I applied willow brown the regular way and then fuchsia with taking the ink directly off the tip of the pencil. This is terribly easy with a water brush. I wanted the color as vibrant as possible. Ink tense colors are transparent and when layered on top of other colors the resulting color would be in most cases as if the paints have been mixed wet. The bottom layer wasn't reactivated there was no smearing. Here is the pencil works of the next layer, bark. And here is when activated with the water brush. Here I again applied the off the pencil tip technique with the iron green. Sporadically I intentionally applied the wet pencil tip on to the paper really gently to avoid ruining the paper. Later, with the water brush, I spread these pencil mark blobs. Then iron blue pencil work on the mountains. And then here is when activated. Then I applied a thin layer again on the sky to make it a bit darker. Then came the most interesting part, applying the antique white pencil both on the sky as well as on the other parts of the landscape. You have to use white off the pencil tip. It doesn't work with the regular pencil stroke way. White is semi-opaque. It combines a milky combination with the underlying layers. 
the more white layers you apply, the whiter the result was. Finally, just to test how opaque is white, I sprinkled white paint with the water brush off the pencil tip over to the paper. I was quite happy with the result. My granddaughter told me that it looks like as if snowing in summer. I am not a landscape expert at all and so far I stayed away from layering on this thin 140 GSM sketchbook paper. But with careful techniques layering could give spectacular results that wouldn't be possible without applying multiple layers.